Hey, what's up everybody? Jesse here with Southern Reels and I'm doing my video a little bit different today than I normally do. The backstory to what I'm getting ready to show you footage wise is me and Jim went to Lynn Haven Inlet this past Saturday in Virginia Beach and spent the first half of the day out there pretty much trout fishing. We had a stellar day out there on the water. So I'm going to show you the footage from that here, just a condensed version because naturally I can't fit all of that into one video. I want you to hang around to the end though is what I'm asking because once the footage that I am showing you is over, I'm gonna kinda explain the difference in our setups, what I noticed between the two, and pretty much what I learned this particular day out on the water, trout fishing. So in the meantime, enjoy. All right, y'all, early in the morning, still kinda brisk, definitely hoodie weather. Guess we'll fish for trout for a while, fish along this flat here, just drop off. Kinda just fish the spots that I know from times past. I will know real quick if they're here or not. If they're not, just work our way right on around. That's definitely the highest I've ever seen the water here. That's like all through that grass. Yeah, that's the problem right now with it being so high, man. The trout are gonna be all up in this grass exploring. All right, switched out to a bass assassin. Just one thing I've learned about trout lure is just use whatever you have confidence in. It's either a natural color bite or a bright color bite, one of the two. Figure I'll throw soft plastics for a while and then switch over to a mirror lure if I don't get anything on that. I don't think they're here. Or they could be and they just ain't biting yet. Now folks, we move spots and I got a bite right away. Mirror lure. Okay. Yeah. Nice little start to the day. Pretty little trout. There it is. Need a net? Oh yeah, that's a nice one there. Puppy drum? Uh, yeah, I think it is a puppy drum. That might be a keeper. Like yeah, maybe a keeper drum. So you got drum and trout hanging out up in there. Yep, there we go. I like that. Double up. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> little bait stealers here. <laughs> hey, it's catching fish, so. That net, oh, it's over there behind you. Yeah, I think it's a puppy drone. Yep, that's another drone. Thanks. <coughs> yep. Actually, that one might make it. I think the same size. Oh, there we go, I got one too. I think I might have a drum on here as well, buddy. Oh, nope, that's a trout. Keeper too. You in the net? No, I got him. <laughs> Pretty much what we got is just a nice drop off right here. It drops off to about 16 feet underneath of us. And we're just dropping it down this slope real easy. We're catching puppy drum and trout here, so. There we go. I don't know, man. It might be the gold trout. Big trout. Big trout. Where's net? Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's 20. That's 20 inches of each. Oh, dude. That's a... <laughs> the heck yeah, bro. Told you. Let your chicken. That is a nice one. She's like 19. Heck yeah. In the live well she go. Take them all day. All right, in case you're wondering, this is what we're using right here. Sea Shad Electric Chicken. It felt good for the first couple seconds. Oh, he is good. Oh, yeah, can. Should be a keeper. Just pop him up in here. Okay. Oh, I might have got me a good one too. Maybe. 15 and a half, you think we should keep them or no? Yeah, yeah, for now. That way we can both hopefully get a limit. I was hoping for like the 15, like the 18 inch plusers, you know? I mean, 15 or 16 inch trout's good eating, man. Seems to me if I cast just enough of those weeds and then come this way, you know? Or right into the boat. <laughs> All right, as you're telling me where to do it, you catch them right underneath of you. I think I got a decent one here. Can you grab that net? Yeah, grab the net. I'll keep them in order this time. 
Thank you. 15 and a half. Heck yeah. Thank you. Yeah. One last one before we leave the honey hole here. The bite slowed right down here, y'all. I think the tide is changing over. That was that window. They were on fire. I almost hate to leave, but you won't find anything better if you don't look. All right, folks, we made a little run here. Not the spot to try. Yep, there we go. Help, they're trout here too. There we go. Oh, so good. Be a trout. Please be a trout. Oh, oh that's God. a big fish. Hey, no, keep him in order. Keep him in order. Keep him in order. There you go. That's a big. What was that you were saying? All the small ones here? I know. We're ready to leave. What? Oh, like was a, a drum. What you got? 20 and a half. Yep. Heck yeah, brother. That's awesome right there. Hold that thing up. Oh, don't lose it. <laughs> that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Oh, there we go. Double. Double up. Mm. Look, mine's bigger. I think mine's littler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, throwbacks. I'm probably gonna have to go to a heavier jig here. Mine's just getting. Yeah. There, you go. there we go. Oh, that's a good one. Good one? That's a good one. All right, I got you. I'll get up here. It's a nice one. How many is that? That's nine. Oh, look at you. I told you. Look at you. <laughs> There you go. That's how I do it. Is that a trout? Yeah. Yep. Now you yeah. don't mess with that pole. That's number 10 there, right? Yeah. Hey, this is uh, way bigger than the other one. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I just picked the smallest one out. I know. Hey, listen, buddy. Lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Nice. What a dab. Yeah. yeah. All right, y'all can tell that was definitely a lot of fun for sure. Now, as far as what I learned, now my setup was a lightweight rod, 10 pound test braid, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, and I was using a 3 16 ounce trout eye with a bass assassin swim shad and electric chicken on it. Now Jim, he had a very similar setup, very similar braid leader, but he was using a 3 8 ounce jig head with a red head on it. And early in the video, if you noticed, he was using Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet in chartreuse. If you notice, he caught a couple puppy drum. Drum love gulp. They're definitely attracted to it more so than just a regular soft plastic. So he wanted to catch some trout. So he switched over to the swim shad as well, but he stuck with the same 3 8 ounce jig head. Now, similar line and everything. These two different weights are going to give a completely different presentation in the water. So mine is probably going to ride a little bit higher in the water column, be more affected by current to where his is gonna be deeper, usually close to the bottom, if not on the bottom, as we were skipping it down the slopes, it's gonna give two different presentations. I caught more trout this particular day, but a lot of my trout were smaller trout because I think I was riding higher in the water column. He caught less, but he was catching a better class of trout. So it would seem that this particular day, to get the bigger trout, you wanted to be closer to the bottom. So it's kind of neat to see that just a change in weight with the exact same setup and presentation otherwise definitely changes the class of fish that you catch. So it's something that I learned this particular day. I will definitely try presenting with more weight you know, in the future just to see if it makes a difference. He did try a couple other colors, but they were still soft plastic, you know, similar bright colored. That didn't seem to make a difference. And that kind of goes back to what I was saying in the video. As far as the color combination for catch and trout, I really don't see much difference. It's either bright or it's natural. Don't beat yourself up with 37 different colors. 
by a bright color white. I like electric chicken because I have had great success with it. And I've fished with it and I believe in it. And I think that makes a difference in actually going out there and catching fish. You have to believe in it because if you just go at it without really trying, you're not going to catch much. And as far as where we were fishing, what I was looking for on these particular days is like drop offs and pockets of calm water that are like adjacent to moving water and also close to structure, be it docks, jetties, rocks, anything that would hold small bait fish is naturally going to attract a trout. And being that there was calm water there along the structures and stuff kind of away from the main current that was coming in, it definitely was a perfect setup for finding them and catching them. And as you saw, it delivered great. With all that being said, I appreciate you watching the video. Part two of this day was fun as well, and that's just going to be in another separate video. So anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out. See you.